What are we doing on this trip? We're going to Mardi Gras to minister and stomp hell. We'll be ministering at a church during the weekend and then going to Mardi Gras where the wild things are and seeing Jesus dominate and crush hell every single day. Cheeks! Cool. Cool. Gonna be uh, going to Mardi Gras, uh, praying for the sick, just loving on people, showing people Jesus and I'm excited to see what God's going to do. It's going to be a crazy God adventure. And we're also going to be uh, preaching at a church. Hey, excuse me, everyone, real quick. Just one minute. I just want to share something. Like prepare doors for arrival. Like I used to be suicidal. I used to not have peace. I used to be just completely whacked in my mind. I don't know where you're at with God, but I know He loves you and He'll meet you right where you're at. I know there's no sin, there's nothing that could separate you from Him. So if you want to know Him, just ask. He'll be there, right there with you guys. I uh, just, I don't know, I had to share that I feel like someone on this plane really, really needs it. You've been struggling with suicidal thoughts and like I just know that's someone on this plane. But anyway, I just want you to know, turn to Jesus, He loves you. So where the Spirit of the Lord is, He brings liberty, He brings freedom, meaning everything the enemy has his grumpy little paws on, He rips off. Yeah. Good. He liberates him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Come on, man. They didn't pop. No. Jesus, man. <laughs> You fell on the cast yeah. Low stand filthy with me. And I got both legs. Seven stitches in the right knee. And a big knot on the left leg. Yeah. Wow. And what happened to your legs tonight? Tonight. Oh, are they good? Yes, they're good. I can the get down my right knee. You can? With no pain. With no pain. Good. No pain. Come on, praise Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Well, hold on. What was that again? I popped the ligament in my neck and I couldn't move it for a whole month. And what could you do now? I could turn it. <laughs> Come on, up. Jesus. So we are at Mardi Gras. Oh, the you're official Mardi Gras day. Yes, sir. We're about to see Jesus touch some people wow. in a way that's powerful. <laughs> Never seen anything like this, man. It's crazy. Overwhelming. The amount of people that are just partying and Whoop. I'm excited. Yes. Duffy, what would you have to say about today? Um, I'm saying that we just declare victory over the enemy in the people's lives right now. And that healing just like, just overwhelms this whole area. And it just like, God just- I'm turning just, here. Yeah, you're turning there. And God just like, ravishes this fire and love for people in, in this whole city right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now New Orleans is a city known for its darkness and especially during Mardi Gras. We're here to bring the love of Jesus. So just prayed over the naked cowboy. Uh, got a word of knowledge over his neck and he's like his neck was hurting so he was tripping out and then uh, it, all the pain left his neck and then I believe, is it on though? 
I believe in that. I don't know what you're doing, but I appreciate this because I've had neck pain. Up. I actually feel like it's better. It's better? Come on, Jesus. Let's do a song. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. He had me pray over his eyesight and come on, Jesus. My, my vision began blurry. The vision began blurry? <laughs> Jesus came in. I don't know what I'm doing, but you guys. So God, I thank you. Eyesight come back right now in Jesus' name. Vision come back in Jesus' name. Thank you, love you. I look around. I look around. What's, what's going on with your vision? Nothing. Any difference? Fix. Fix. For real? Like took care of it. You just took care of it. Jesus. Now, how do you bring the gospel to people who are enjoying sin? Now, during Mardi Gras, there's actually a lot of believers on the streets that are sharing the gospel in many different ways. But my heart's prayer was God. I want to know your love for people. I want to see people how you see them. God is a holy God, but he also is love. So what does God's love look like amongst people who are openly practicing sin? Wait, what happened? That guy, was, that guy Dave was wearing a Bucky's uh, like uh, pajamas. And I was like, hey bro, I love Bucky's. And he shook my hand. And I was like, hey, do you got pain in your body? And he's like, yeah, I got pain every day when I wake up for work. All right, check out your pain. So he grabbed my hand and I was like, Jesus, I just thank you for touching his body and total healing. And I was like, hey, check out your pain, man. He's like, I don't have any pain right now. This man doesn't know Jesus yet. And he's searching for anything that can numb the pain he feels inside. Okay, one more time, Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, I love you. I mean, why you can't to me, it is a whole different life. Like, It's something that brought you to me. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy because I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I'm on my I'm on my I'm on my I'm on my own. 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 I'm so, you're saying that lightness, man? He wants that lightness in your heart. See, he gives peace. Yeah. I, I spent my whole life on drugs and everything else okay. looking for man, that peace. Like but man. listen, I know what you're looking for because I was there. I was searching for that same thing, man. I was a runaway on the street, hated anything to do with it. I didn't realize it was Jesus, but I was searching for just peace. Drugs never, you know, numb, ju they just numb me from the fact that I didn't yeah. have it. Exactly. It just passes exactly. the time. When exactly. I was sober, I was messed up. But I know Jesus wants to give you real peace. We just prayed. You felt something lift. I know you did because God's here right now. Do you, I know that. You, I know that. Do you want that in your heart? Do you want to really know? I'm I do. I, I really do it. It's because you're made for peace, man, and you know that in your heart. And when you don't feel peace, you go to anything else that can numb it. You got nothing else. I get that. But I know, like, I've searched for peace in everything else, and all of a sudden, once I encountered God in a real way, it changed me where now I live in that peace. It's not momentarily, but I consistently wake up in the morning in that peace. Even in the middle of problems and trials and losing people, I still have that peace. 
where it's not based on it's it's so intense and so real it's not based on my situation do you want that push in your heart man yeah. okay. pray, pray with me okay well let's ask jesus just to make himself real to you that you know him. Yeah. okay yeah. say jesus Jeez. i want to know you i want i want to know your peace i am asking that you would fill me with your presence that you fill me with that peace that surpasses all understanding. The, the peace. Okay, I'm asking you for peace. Yeah, peace. I think that's all of it. You give me peace. Yeah, you my life. I want you to be my Lord. I want to know you in a real way. I'm just going to pray, Holy Spirit, would you fill my friend, would you fill him up, God, fill his heart with your peace. I break off depression, I break off that heaviness, even addiction right now. In Jesus' name, I thank you, God, for peace. Amen. Feel something in your heart, like a heat, warmth, yeah, yeah, it, something it, it just shifted. That's crazy, right? Yeah, it, 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 Real tall. I know what you just felt shift in your heart. He says he'll make your heart make your heart his own. So now he lives in you. As you go to him, as you talk to him, you know, he's gonna fill you with his peace, his presence. He's gonna guide you and he's gonna lead you. You know? You good, bro. God bless man. my friend. Man, my you good, right man. Oh man, you with your love, man. That you would know your love, bro. In a real way that you would know he's not abandoned, but I pray that even that anger against, the anger he's had against you, he's held against you, God. There's been an anger there that's been causing a bitterness where he just can't see why things went messed up, why you took things, why... Now this man finally found the peace he was searching for. I got pain. I got pain in my ankle. Is it hurt right now? Right now, yeah. What's your name, man? My name is Tashab. Okay, let me see your hand. Well, it's a little dirty, but... Father, I just thank you in Jesus' name. Ankle, thank God. Touch him, God. All ankle, thank God. All right, check out your ankle, man. I mean, I got pain in everything. Do something. Really? Something, pray again. I got pain. Yeah, he's the one. 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 He's Pray for this one. Pray for him. You like him. Hey, you like him behind. So pray for him. His whole life is oh. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just, just uh, general. In general. In general. Oscar. Oscar, Jesus, I just thank you for Oscar, God. I thank you for his heart, God. I thank you, Lord, that um, you just love him so much, God. And I just pray for open doors, God. Blessing, God. I just thank you for a favor with his job, God. And I thank you, Lord, that um, yeah, I just feel like your grandma or your mom or something like that. I don't know. Um, I got you. I'm more of you. Supernatural protection. On your life, bro. No, so I just think you, like I feel like you've been in situations lately where you like you're like like your friends have been like bro this was crazy and, and like you're safe and I feel like you you hear stuff like you feel it like something in your belly like hey we need to stay away from this place or go to this place and and like people really respect you because you're a man of few words but when you speak man. There's power in your words. Hey, Does that seem right? Oh, that's you true, are a man right there. Is that, that is true. That's you are a man of few words. You're a quiet leader, man, and people actually respect you and look up to you because of the way that you carry yourself, and it's been like that since you were a little kid. Does that make sense? Hey. You were that since you were a baby? Is that crazy? You were that since you were a baby? Is that crazy? Oh, uh, he knows it. Dude, Wait, Jesus loves you, man. Jesus loves you. What's your name? Give me one too. Give me one too. Yeah. So Father, I just thank you for Sinera, God. I thank you, God, that um, she's just crazy. Like I feel like you dream a lot, and that you see like, like stuff in color. Wait, wait, let him. What he just said was too much. Was too much. Jesus is talking to me about that. I feel that. So I just saw that you dream a lot, and you don't like a lot of your dreams. Like you don't understand. Like right now, and you're really sensitive to people. Like when sketchy people walk up, you like know that they're sketch, and the Lord's giving you like a gift of discernment and a prophetic gift to like. Um, like I feel like when you you had dreams when you were a little girl that you think about sometimes, and there's like like uh, like I just see different colors that you've seen and you don't know how to explain it to anyone. But Jesus just told me all that stuff about you because he loves you. 
Is that true? Yes. Like, you can tell me if I'm wrong. No, you're right. Yeah. And I feel like there's been attacks on your sleep and attacks on your dreams. Like when you try to go to sleep, like you, your, uh, like your heart and your head get rushed with all these random thoughts. Like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work out. I don't know if this is gonna work out. But you also have a heart for other people. Like you, you stress more for other, like your friends that you're close to. You stress about their lives more than they stress about theirs. And you, you have like a gift of wisdom and revelation to pour into your friends. And like you get really upset when they don't listen to you. Yes. Is that crazy? Yes. Yeah, like I'm just some random white guy from Portland, Oregon. Oh and my, my God, friend, you are blessed. Yeah, like Jesus really loves you guys. Like it's not me, it's not like I can't make this stuff up, right? Oh my God. How about me? How about me? And I just, pro Father, I just pray for her, God. I pray that all her sleeping problems go away right now. In Jesus' name, God, I pray for her. I feel like you're just a leader, like a natural leader, but you're outspoken, bro, and you're not afraid to tell people. You're not, you're not afraid to tell people what's up. Like, like someone will come up to you and you're not afraid to speak truth no matter what people look like. I feel like you've been in sketchy situations because of your mouth. And I don't say that because of that. Like I've seen in the natural. I, it's like actually a gift of leadership on your life, man. Like people just want to follow you. Like your friends, like your true friends will follow you even if it's sketchy. Like if it's like 100 people versus you guys, like they, they got your back. You're like a natural leader. And um, yeah, dude, I feel like you're like, um, yeah. I just see you like in a playground just hanging out with your friends, man. And like, you're just really easy going and really okay. light. And like when things get heavy, like your God's you're giving a you a runner? gift to like lighten the mood. Does that make sense? She's a judge though. Yes. Who wants to crack her? Like, yes. like you always lighten the mood when the things get heavy and you have like a gift to like, like someone will come to you and you're just like, like make a joke or whatever. And it like changes that whole, the whole mood around. What's your name again? So this guy. I'm Hisham. I'm from Egypt. Uh, yeah. You're from Egypt? Can you explain to us, um, for example, you talk about my dreams, right? Yes. Can you tell me why? Like, can you go more than that? Okay, so, okay. I got radically touched by Jesus like eight years ago. And like when I found out about it, like I grew up in a, like a really religious church. And so I met, I went to Haiti and I was in like around voodoo and stuff and I met like, I was like, this, if church is it, man, like, I don't want this. Like, I don't want church. Like, I want to know God. Like, if he's real, I want to know him for real. And so when I was in Haiti, I heard this voice tell me, like, hey, open up your Bible. So I opened up my Bible and I started reading Acts. And in Acts, like, people were getting healed. Like, demons were getting cast out of people. And I was like, God, like, I want to live this way. And so I met my friend and, like, we started, like, I just, it's called prophecy. And so Jesus, he loves me and I know it, but he loves everyone else right it doesn't matter what sins in your life it doesn't matter what god you worship like he actually loves people so much that he talks to christians about other people just to be like hey like like i love you and it's it's just god like because he lives in me because i have a relationship with him he just speaks to me and he speaks to my friends and we we like share it with other people and you guys were highlighted to us. Yeah. Pay for people, is that true or? that is true that is true it is i feel like true. lord's saying like um, yeah. my, our friend lives in uh, Albany, his, Louisiana. He's, he wants to carry your burden like in, the way you like carry ours. Our, like you're, see, north, you're strong west. for everyone else, but you need someone to be strong for you. And you're someone who, you know when you go say? through stuff, you don't open up and you mm -hmm. hide it. But you like try to be this pillar for everyone else to lean on, but you yourself yeah. need someone to lean on sometimes. And I, um, where are you at with Jesus right now? Do you like, you, do you know him or? I do. You do? Mm -hmm. He saved yeah, me no, when I, I was. Him. I grew, up, I grew up in the church, man. Well, that's awesome. I just hear the Lord saying that He wants to yeah. be that place you go to, you lean on, that He's strong for you. Does that make sense? Is that it true? Does. Or no, it is true. Okay. It is true. It really is true. Y'all cool. have a gift. Y'all do. Listen, do you get shoulder pain at all? Yeah. Oh my God, every single day of my life. Do you yeah, want there's aspects of that that are true, but there's different translations that. Okay. So, check this out. Raise your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, shoulders be healed. Go back in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day. Right now. That's what I was doing. Alright, check your shoulders out. Oh. Move. You feel good right now? Can you find it? Be friendly on it. Oh, okay. No? No? Like, really check it. No, I really... It's not that long. Like, I know where it hurts, so I'm thinking towards that side, you know? So uh, the guy in the middle, he was like, if you can tell me everything that you've been doing to them, to me, I'm going to follow Jesus. And uh, like the Lord just like, I was like, oh, that's kind of high pressure, you know. But Jesus told me, started talking to me and he's like, oh my God, like 
this is true. Like you're talking to me, like this is accurate. Like I'm gonna give my life to Jesus. Yeah, I've actually I feel like you're a thinker, bro. Like, like you just think and ponder a lot of stuff and there's stuff that have been, that has been like, um, like some of your belief systems are actually not because you've like decided to, but it's just like, you're really loyal. And so like your family or your parents or whatever would be like, hey, like this is what we do. But you actually like, before you go to sleep, like you think like, man, I don't know if this is my truth. I don't know if this is right or not. And you're just like a really deep thinker. And um, like, you can correct me if I'm wrong anytime, man. But, like, am I right? Like, yeah, like you're a deeper thinker. You, yeah, and you, and you question. And I feel like when you were younger, like people thought like, like, like have labeled you as like a rebel because you question stuff and you don't like you don't believe in something because of other people like you have to convince you have to be convinced yourself but i feel like once you can you're convinced yourself like it's like rock solid like you're like no i know this is true period and you can't get me off of this does that make sense it's crazy, right, man? Okay. What was your name one more time? Adar. Adar? Can I just pray for you, man? So, Father, I just thank you for Adar, God. I just pray for your blessing, God. And I thank you, God, that he seeks truth no matter what, God. And I just pray, Lord, that you come to him right now. And he gave his life to Jesus. And then, like, uh, this other guy named Oscar, like, he just kept asking me questions. Like, I shared my testimony with him. And he was like, I'm not ready to give my life to Jesus. But I know because of you, like, that God is probably real. And I was like, bro, like, he's my best friend. And he'll do what he did for me for you. And so like tonight when you're in bed or whenever you're ready, there, I feel like there's a situation that's gonna happen that's gonna make you remember this encounter. Uh, just be like, hey, Jesus, like make myself, make yourself known to me and I feel like he'll encounter you. Bananas. Oh! New Orleans is riddled with witchcraft and voodoo. And all the way around Jackson Square, you'll find tarot card readers and psychics. But it's in the darkness that God's light shines the brightest. If you want. Your back's messed up? Yeah. Check out. Can I put my hand there? When Michael approached this man, he said he was a Satanist. I mean, after, after we got to fix it, right, that would be good. Michael just prayed for his back pain to go away, and at first he tried to explain it away. But then suddenly, oh God, oh, oh, he did a really good job. <laughs> oh my God, that's fucking awesome. He really believes in his God. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, only. Really, really. He actually believes in his God. So right now, in Jesus' name, thank you, Father, for total freedom. Oh my God. Total healing right now. We just break up every attack yeah. of your life. That's awesome. You all right? Oh, great. Please, please. <laughs> thank hey, you. have a great night, man. Jesus loves you, bro. Yeah. This is really rich. Free healing. I do have a son. Uh, do you like worry about him a lot or something like that? Oh, yes, I do. What's his name? Don't do that. Oh. What's his name? Daniel. Daniel, can I pray for him? Yes, please. When I saw you, I saw that you had a son and that you loved him very much. And I've been sending him texts from here. My girls know I'm here, but my son, I've been texting him. I'm like, hey, I'm here and I haven't gotten that. And he needs it. And I'm in Wyoming. He's in Virginia. What? Yes. It's, 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 it's hard. Yeah, of course. Father, of course. I just thank you for Daniel, God. Thank you, God. I just pray for blessing, God. I pray, yes. Lord, that you just, um, you comfort my new friend here, God. Yvonne. And that you, Yvonne and you literally do miracles. Is there anything you guys need a miracle for? Like for real? Do you need something? 
thing of yeah, At this current moment, I'm okay. Okay, does any of you have any pain in your body? Like physical pain? No. Dude, I'm, I'm great. Balls right now. What? <laughs> it's like, no, you know, we're having, that's we're having a great time. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. I've been yeah. saved. So yeah. Yeah. We've been yeah. saved. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. What does that mean? Just. It's been. Uh, I mean, you could yeah. for sure, yeah. bro. Like, What's do what name you want. Justin. God, I bless Justin. I pray right now for favor over his life. I pray blessing over him. I pray protection over him. And something crazy good would happen just to show him that you actually really. There's nothing he could do to stop your love for him, God. So I bless him in Jesus' name. Do you, do you want to do something with music? Do you want to do something with music? Whoa, 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 whoa. I, As soon as I grabbed your hand, I just heard music oh ringing in my God. heart. And we actually come, make music together. Yeah, make dude, music together. we're yes, musicians, sir. yeah. Yes, okay, so God, I just bless his music career in Jesus' yeah. name. I pray right now, favor and open doors for his music career. God, you wouldn't not tell me about that unless you wanted to do something about it. So I just pray blessing over them in Jesus' name. I thank you for it. Also, that is awesome. That's awesome. Whoa. Are one of you all worried about your mom? Or something like that? No? So I, I don't know, I heard in my heart music career. And I just know, like, and I also got another sense where, like, like here's the thing, don't cut me slack. I'm still growing in this, but basically God, God really loves you guys, so he puts stuff in my heart. Like I said, I'm not like one of these weirdo church goers. Like, my wife and I travel around the world. Who's your wife? The girl with the dreadlocks right there. Okay. She's Love your hair. She is beautiful. I know. But, but yeah, anyway, so, man, where are you really at with God right now? Like, <laughs> honestly? Yeah, honestly. Like, oh. like, not just to give me the nice answer, you know? No, man, yeah, I is. That's a tough one. Yeah, when I was praying, man, I feel like you've had religion, you've had all kinds of stuff put on you, and you've seen it wrong, you've seen it... You've seen abuse and you've seen stuff, and God was put in my heart that you've actually been hurt by people who were supposed to represent Jesus, but they didn't, and they fell short. And just there's something that actually really hurt your heart, and I just feel God's broken heart for that because that was never God's heart towards you. See, what happened is Jesus says eternal life is relationship with Him. So man says, okay, let's build religion. Let's okay, you do this right, you do this right, you do this right, and I feel like you grew up under the pressure of always messing up, always falling short, never being good enough, and then you're just like, to hell with this, I'm done with this, and you just kind of throw it off, and like, <laughs> living for yourself and doing your own thing. Is that true, or? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah, <laughs> word yeah. for word. Okay. <laughs> no, like, the whole, this took the last 22 years of my life, I just something to how is that possible, man? I don't know you. <laughs> How is that possible? Haley, really? how is that possible? See, man here's the thing. Stairs. Here's a sudden, one night, I thought I was tough. I cussed him out. Like, God, you're so blanking good. Why'd you let this happen? And then, this was 15 years ago. My sister drugged me to church, kicked me and screaming. I didn't want to go. She's like, you're coming to church with me. I'm like, I'll catch on fire. No. <laughs> you know? And then all of a sudden, what happened, though, is the people at this church were different. They actually knew God. And they, when they worship, I started feeling this presence, this love, this joy, this peace wash over me. And it was weird because it was everything I was looking for in drugs. I was like all of a sudden getting overwhelmed with. And I'm like, what is this stuff? Get it off me. And then I got overwhelmed. And then all of a sudden, like, I was just in snot and tears because I just got like, literally shaken to the core by love. And then it was like, no matter all the stuff, I didn't messed up stuff. And no matter how messed up I was, you know, instead of God being this religious, like, he's, forgiving. he's, he's like, I forgiving. love you. You're my boy, I love you, and I got messed up. Then the pastor went on stage and actually answered every question I shouted at God. And I'm like, you know what, I'm done. And that was 15 years ago, it's funny because I even ran back to drugs after that and you know, lived the party life in the Christian, you know? But drugs no longer satisfied anymore. Like once I felt God's like, real presence, I, I went back to you know, like smoking and drinking and I couldn't drink Jesus. It's not the same. It was like not the same. It's not the same. But I just want you to know that Jesus right now, he wants you to have a real relationship with him and not a religious relationship. God hates religion, religion put him on the cross. Right? Say that one more time. God hates religion, religion put Jesus on the cross. Amen. Yes, See, it's a book. Yes, Jesus literally was put on the cross by people who looked right in society, but their hearts were twisted. Yes, he came to make hearts right, actions follow.
right? Do you want to know Jesus in your heart, man? I'm talking like real relationship. Do that? Yeah. <laughs> pray with me, okay? Just pray. Say, Jesus, I invite you in my heart. I want to know you in a real way, not in a religious way. I believe what you did on the cross for me. I believe you died for my sins. I believe that you love me. And I ask that you give me a heart to love you with everything. To love you. Now fill me with your Holy Spirit. I'm just going to pray, okay? Holy Spirit, would you fill him, God? Would you fill him with your Holy Spirit? Yes. Fill him up, God. Fill him up, God. Jesus, Jesus, thank you, God. You feel warm? <coughs> you feel something happening? Crazy? Something crazy? You can't explain? Something just shifted, right? What do you... All right, be dude. This is this it. So, this is it. This so listen, God says He promises the Holy Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit comes in and He makes Jesus, like Jesus says, "I'll make your my your heart my home." Basically, that's not just figurative. He literally lives in you now. He lives in your heart. Now He's gonna act kind of like your conscience. All of a sudden, you're gonna read the Bible. He's gonna speak to you through it. It's gonna make sense, and He's gonna like actually lead you. See, here's the thing. Though. Like sin, part like sin, partying, stuff like that, it messes up your relationship with him. You see, he hates it because it's like, you know, if you have children and they're doing things that's destroying their lives and watching the devil, the devil comes and kills to destroy, right? When you go fishing, you put bait on the hook, right? That's what sin is. So the devil comes and tries to like literally hold you in sin and it destroys your soul and it destroys you from the inside out because I've been on both sides of that. I've been from the honeymoon stage of math to the end stage where you're like, I need I need to break free, but I can't, right? That's what the devil does. Jesus loves you so much. That's why he doesn't like sin because it destroys people he loves. This couple walked up to Chelsea and asked her if she did tarot cards or spiritual readings. So Chelsea started prophesying over them. And as soon as she brought up Jesus, the guy walked away. But Michael had a word for him. Naturally, like when you were younger? That, is that crazy, right? Hey, that's actually true, yes sir. That's actually like TT, like TT true, yes sir. <laughs> hey, I just, I, when I saw you, the, Jesus told me all that stuff, and he said he's loved you since he first saw you. Like, I feel like you got forced kind of to, uh, like, invite, like, ask Jesus into your heart, and you kind of did it as, like, a thing, but God's actually honored that, and there's, um, he's been protecting you your whole life, and I feel like this, this encounter, like, he doesn't care what you've done, he doesn't care what you've seen, like, you've seen some stuff, man. Like, I saw, I like, like, you've seen some insane stuff, and, like, if you wrote a book, man, like, like, I feel like at night, like, you remember some of the stuff that you've seen, and it, like, kind of overwhelms you. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. What's your name, man? Brett. Brett? Can I pray for that stuff to go away, man? Can I see your hand again, man? Father, I just thank you for Brett, God. In Jesus' name, all trauma, I break it off right now. In Jesus' name, God. I thank you for his heart, God. I thank you that he is a loving heart. And I break off any curse, that any word curses, any bad things that have been spoken over him. I just proclaim the blood of Jesus over this man, God. I thank you, God, that you love him so much. Holy Spirit, I pray for fire just to hit him right now. In Jesus' name. You feel that, you feel that man? There's an angel standing right behind you, man. And it's God reminding you, man, of, of, of true love and what it is. It's not religion. Like, religion did you dirty, man. Like, yeah, you're amazing. Too brilliant. Can I give you a And as the girl gave her life to Jesus, the guy came over and did as well. Thank you. 
when he was a child, God. I ask, Father, for his destiny to be fulfilled, God, and I just break off every lie of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, that when you forgive, you forget. You forget all things. So, God, I just thank you for this fresh start, and I thank you for this new season in their life, God. That as they give everything to you, God, you're going to provide every need. You're going to provide every need, and there's nothing you won't do for your kids, God. And I just see both of you are actually called in the ministry. She's called to minister to women and help them get free. And I just see like a huge calling on your life for evangelism and just a leader. You have a leader's heart and you know that. Ooh, and you've been running from it, but God's saying it's time to turn. It's time to go all in and there's a grace for it. So God, I just thank you for Brad. I thank you for the grace you're giving him, you're depositing right now. And we just break off every form of addiction right now. It is dead right now in Jesus' name. It is dead right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus God bless you. Thank you. God is a holy God, and he hates sin. But he's also a loving God who will show up in the middle of our depravity, in the middle of our brokenness, in the worst moments of our life, and show us his kindness, his love, his nature and character. See, God hates sin because it destroys the ones he loves. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us.